All right, guys, what's going on? 6 8 Shaves back for a dome shave today. Um, introducing the scent Full Moon. Found this scent from uh, Spidey. He goes by Spidey over there on the shaving cadre. That's how I found Oz shaving and this scent in particular. I was gonna get it last year, but really wanted to try Jack the Pumpkin. So I got that. Um, this is the pour with two scoops taken out. I did a test lather earlier yesterday and I've got some whipped up in the scuttle here with my Oz shaving ram been featured on this channel before it's got a panda knot on it <clears throat> all right that's that razor venice handle cnc machined let's go shaving let's go shaving charcoal goods Lithe head, open comb, plate. Um, it's going to be second use, final use, trig, silver. Trig, silver, edge. So, hope you guys have been doing well. Hope you had a happy, 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 happy Halloween. I was working, but I could feel the vibes from the world on Halloween night. So, yeah, this scent's very unique. By the way, I hope you guys like the new angle. Um, I tried. <laughs> uh, but anyway, I can't get my... Uh, my board in here, but I guess I could tilt it. There you go. That'll work, whatever. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, the scent on this is very unique. You're either gonna love it or hate it. I mean, it is a seasonal scent. It's in, it don't have any pumpkin in it whatsoever, which I don't, most artisans, they think of Halloween oil is going to have pumpkin in it. Yeah, it's nice to have some pumpkin in some sense, but he does have a pumpkin scent. So he wouldn't add pumpkin to anything else. And that's, I respect it. And this is, uh, it's very, it's not dark. It's. I don't know how to describe it really. It's a, uh, it's a, uh, it gives you an eerie feeling when you smell it for me. Um, I'll tell you the notes. The notes are amber, fresh dirt, campfire. Uh, I can't read my own writing. Gunpowder. Fur and pine with hints of matted fur, I guess from a werewolf, and the rusty iron of blood. So, do with that what you will. I get the campfire and fur, pine off the rip. Um, the base is incredible on this. This is emerald base. Doesn't take much water at all, and you've got mounds of lather. Be careful, you can drown this one out if you're used to those super thirsty soaps. But, uh, I love it. I give it a seven on scent strength. 
at least on the head. Um, it's very well blended. But what comes out the most for me is the uh, fir, pine, and campfire. So, but the other things are in there. I don't get much gunpowder. So if you hate gunpowder, it may be in the splash, I don't know. I'll tell you when I use the splash, but I'm gonna get his other offering if he still got it in stock, 40 crows. I'm a crow lover, so of course I'm gonna get a soap named 40 crows. So. Um, all right, I'm lathered up here. Let's go Let's see what this blade's gonna do with this plate. Yeah, five days growth, maybe six on the head here. I did order me a straight razor. It's a gold dollar, 1996. Red scales. Got a little black into it. In the red. It says shape ready. I guess we'll see when it gets here, huh? <laughs> uh, he states in the description that he went down or uh, up to 8,000 grit. Um, I don't really know, because like I say, it's my first real straight razor, so I say real because all the other ones take DEs and various blades that are already machine made. So this is my first piece of steel that I'll be shaving with, so. Be on the lookout for that. Probably be here in four or five days. Got a, I got the razor for a steel. I just hope it's shave ready. I gotta get a strop so I can keep the edge on it. But that won't be a problem. I'll get that next, next payday. If anybody has any recommendations for a good, nice drop, preferably four inches wide or more, let me know. It's, a, it's really hard to shop for a strop. At least for me, because there's so many different materials. And this and that and that and this and Giving me an excellent shave, guys. I don't know if you can hear it. But that's slick. And efficient. I love the open comb design on this. It's a little different than other razors. But... Christmas this uh this razor head will be a year old so I remember I got it on Christmas because they were going they were on sale last year so pick me up one with all three plates um, I think I'm gonna use the same plate for the beard I'm gonna do my face shave good god yeah, that's about gone guys. I think we're gonna be doing two passes here. That's good because I don't know what the hell happened to my lather. It always happens to me when I use a scuttle. It's like the heat kills my lather or something. I don't know. The heat from the hot water kills it.
Love this knot. It's really nice. 24 millimeter panda knot. There you go. Add a little water. for slickness, not volume here. That should do it, let's see. Still have quite a few Halloween scents to use. And I'll be using them all through November because that's how I roll. Halloween is my favorite <clears throat> holiday, so I'll be rocking with the Halloween scents until I run out of them. So well, let me know what you guys are using right now. Are you using, still using any Halloween scents? I know some people just use like clown fruit, all month long, if that's, your, if that's your jam, do it. I just find there's way too many good Halloween scents on the market to stick with one. I want to try um, Southern Witchcraft's Samhain. I don't know why it keeps flying under my radar, but I really need that soap. I'll get it eventually, maybe. But as far as this soap right here, Ian over at Oz Shaving does not get enough credit. His base is amazing, it's a tallow base. Like I said, this is his emerald base. Um, it's amazing. I mean, it's slick. It's got residual slickness up the ass. Lathers up very easily. Um, it's just an awesome, awesome soap. And the scents are strong. The ones I've tried anyways. I'm going to get a uh, sample pack from them too. When I get my 40 crow set. So I can try his other scents he's got out. But yeah, guys, this is BBS, damn near. I mean, it's cleaning my head up. I love this head. It's one of my favorite heads. I just don't use it a lot. I'll show you a sneak peek of something that I got yesterday. It's a P1 gold long handled black beauty. Very good shape. So, I oiled it, uh, cleaned it, polished it, and oiled it. It is missing some numbers, but all I need is some testers enamel black paint. And I'll put that right back on there with the Q tip. I mean, a uh, toothpick, so not worried about that, but it wasn't cheap, but those don't come up too often, and it's the same exact year, 1970, first quarter, same as my uh, short handle, <laughs> which was really weird. Normally it'd be like a P2, P3, even if you found it in 1971. But that's a little weird. But I ain't complaining. It's kind of cool. Uh, 
I don't know if I'm gonna get that one revamped or not. I know it's gonna sit on the back burner because the aristocrat needs it first. Uh, the aristocrat is in way worse shape. I wouldn't say it's in terrible shape by no means. It's just missing some plating. So. This is such a smooth shape, guys. Try this combo if you've got the lithe head. Uh, it's a trig chrome edge. Or, I'm sorry, a silver edge trig blade. The open comb. Wow, <laughs> there's nothing left. Yeah, I've got to where I won't use a blade over two uses. I don't even like to do that unless I'm testing the blade. I had never used one of these trigs before, so that's why I used two uses on it. This is the lather we produced today. Very protective, very slick. Look at that. Camp. It's like somebody set up camp, started a fire around a bunch of pine trees and it's a big roaring fire, right? And uh, there's a werewolf in the, it's like a rainy day. It, it rained earlier and there's a werewolf in the uh, distance. And uh, you get, I'm not gonna say you get a lot of the matted fur, but it's, mixed in there very well very light and it's like if he ate whatever he ate the blood would be running down his mouth with the uh getting the blood in the fur and maybe he got in a fight with other wolves and he has a wound and you can smell the blood it's not very much blood but it is in there it's definitely in this splash here. This beautiful splash bottle here. It's tonic. No burn tonic, I love it. Not 20 or 40 drops there. Let's see what we get. Oh yeah. Ah, oh, yeah, that's nice. I don't care what anybody says, that's nice. I give the splash every bit of a eight on strength. Soap a seven. It's just nice, it's something different. Nobody else has this scent, just like it. Oh man, it's nice. You get the campfire, the pine, the fir tree, the, man, that's just everything. Maybe a tiny bit of gunpowder in the very back. God, it's nice, guys. I mean, you, <laughs> you get the dirt, fresh dirt's mixed very well in it, in the splash at least. It sounds disgusting, but it's badass, especially for this time of year. Get you a sample of it, try it out. But you better get on it because he's gonna stop selling these soon. Because he don't, 
You don't sell them through past uh, the very first of November, so you better get on over there. And why? Just get you a sample pack. Try all the scents. See how you like them. I love this scent. I'll be using this all week. Besides, I mean, yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do a face shave with it. It's a seven days growth, six days, seven day growth. That'll be my next video. I may change uh, razors. I'm not sure yet, but probably just change the plate on it to the aggressive close comb. But uh, stay tuned for that. And uh, check this out. I found today gingerbread snapped. It's interesting. Mountain Dew never gives up, do they? Definitely get the gingerbread. Which brings me to say, uh, when PAA puts out their gingerbread, if they bring it back out this year, I'll be getting that because, I don't know, I'm just on a gingerbread kick this year. As far as software goes and drinks and, I don't know, I'm trying to get in the spirit, so... But that'll be it for this one. I'm not going to ramble on. If you're new, I uh, really appreciate you jumping on board. If you're an OG, what's up? Leave me uh, what you think about straight razors and what are you using uh, this holiday, Halloween holiday soaps. I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to film another one sometime tonight or in the morning. I haven't made up my mind yet, but I'm gonna get out of here and think on that and relax. Peace.